Hey, you're the guy who usually plays at Darla's, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're really good. Thanks. I'm actually on my way over there right now. Looks like you got some competition. Good luck. Excuse me, uh, this is my spot. Your spot? Um, so like you, you own this corner? Something like that. I, I'm actually friends with the owners of the restaurant. Oh, okay, so this literally isn't your spot. Anyone can play here. Well, not just anyone, only musicians with real talent. Well, in that case, you can find somewhere else to play. Oh, please, no one wants to listen to violin. You sound like you're taking us down with the Titanic. I'll let my music speak for itself, thank you. Okay, so now you're starting to cost me. Those should be my tips. Look, lady, Mary. I I'm normally a nice guy, so I'm gonna give you one more chance. Pack up your stuff and leave. Or what? This is my spot. You need to find somewhere else to go. No, this has really good foot traffic and I need this money. Oh, and I don't? I probably need the money 10 times more than you do. I highly doubt that. You don't know me or my situation. Trust me, whatever your situation is, mine is worse. Sounding good. That's my favorite guitarist. Hey, I whipped you up some fries for Edgar. Take home for him. Go. Yeah, you didn't have to do that. Hey, no, it's no worries at all. No worries. And, excuse me. You must be the new violinist that all my customers are raving about. Wow. Do you two know each other? Like, are you? Uh, I, are you... Uh, no. She is actually out here causing trouble. You should call the cops on her. <laughs> you kid her. Funny. <laughs> You're funny. I'm sorry. My name is Mo. I own the diner with my wife. Nice it's to meet you, Mo. Nice to meet you, too. You, you don't mind me playing here? Oh, you can play here for as long as you like. It's perfectly fine. I mean, if you are half as good as this guy right here, I mean, my customers are going to love you. She's not as good as me. I'm actually a little bit better than him. Oh, I hear challenge. Well, let's hear. <laughs> free to play here anytime, yeah? This is my spot. She needs to leave. Oh, come on now. I mean, we're all adults. We can figure this thing out, right? I mean, like they say, the more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're real clever. Hey, look, I don't mind either one of you being out here, okay? As long as we don't have a problem if you two play nice. So, play nice, okay? Play nice. Oh, hey, painters. You guys are doing great. I mean, you guys are so quick. Wow. Great job. Mo. Hey, play nice, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. No problem. What is it now? Those tips should be mine. You're lucky I want to keep a good relationship with Mo, because if he weren't around, I would break your violin in half. Okay, tough guy. Here's a tip. 
get here earlier next time. Until then, back off. I was hoping I'd never have to see you again. And I was hoping to use this spot. Can't you set up somewhere else? Uh, no. I took your advice and got here early. Looks like you're the one out of luck. I followed you where you would go, but I don't know why you left me here. And so I Did you really have to bring an amp? Louder is better. Thank you, thanks so much. Hey. <laughs> Guitar Hero, how long are you planning on staying out here? Oh, well, like all night. All night? Uh, yeah, I gotta make up for yesterday. I didn't even make over a dime, just a nickel. You really seriously can't find anywhere else to play. No, I either get kicked out or ignored. This is my spot. I plan on keeping it. Okay, well, what about me? I'm not gonna make anything because you're totally drowning me out. Oh, don't see how it's my problem? Dude, seriously. Okay, dude. Look, for the first time in a super long time yesterday, I actually didn't have to sleep in my car. And it was all thanks to the tips that I made right here. I'm sorry, but at least you have a car. I have to walk here five miles every day. Plus, I've got a little brother back home that I've got to help feed. He depends on me. I'm all he's got. Well, at least you have a home. I, I wish that I had somewhere that I could take a shower or... I don't want to argue about this. You want me to feel sorry for you? Fine. Here's a nickel. Now get lost. <laughs> oh, are you the girl that plays a violin here? My husband was telling me about you yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I was, but it looks like I'm gonna have to find a different corner because there isn't space for both of us here. Oh no, that's not true. <laughs> Jared's been playing his music here for a long time and we love having him here. But everyone loves to hear a new sound. I'm sure you two can work something out. Yeah, it, it just seems like Jared's kind of type of guy who only looks out for himself. So I've got to look out for myself, but it was really nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Hi, hey, sweetie. Nice. There she goes, violin girl, walking away from my space, my space, my space, my space, oh my space, my space. Oh. You can't be serious. Real mature. You can play at that game. Have you had enough yet? It's gonna take a lot more than that to get rid of me. You're scaring off the customers with your awful music. Okay, if anyone's music is awful, it's yours. Stop! Stop! Is this what you two call music? 
because I call it trying to keep up the most noise. Sorry, Mo. Now, I said I don't mind if either one of you play here, but, but this right here, it's ridiculous. You're scaring off my customers. She started it. Well, he wouldn't share. This is my story. Will you stop it? You two sound worse than my children. So children, give each other's instruments back, okay? Come on, you can do it. There you go. Good. Now gather your things so we can go inside and talk like adults. Something tells me you two can use a warm meal. <sighs> so, Jared, how's Edgar doing? He's hanging in there. Um, you know, as long as we have food, we'll be all right. I bet. Mary, how are you doing, sweetheart? Well, besides sleeping in my car, not so great. Hey, it beats sleeping on the streets. You know, Mo used to be just like you two. He was hustling every day, trying to make a dollar. He was selling his hot dogs out there to construction workers, wheeling around his little cart as a kitchen. And then he met me. I owned the deli across the street. He was taking some of my customers. He was tough competition too. I was mad. <laughs> but then I realized he was kind of cute. So how did you guys stop competing with each other? Okay, I was getting to that. One day, he asked me to partner up with him. He would make the hot dogs and I'd make the sandwiches. And then we have our little restaurant together. 10 years later, here we are. <laughs> you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. That's so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you. I was hoping it would rub off on you two. Are you suggesting we fall in love with each other? Oh, no, not at all. <laughs> but look where working together can get you. You know, they always say team stands for together. Everyone achieves more. Maybe that's something that can benefit both of you. A team? Well, in your case, a duet. <laughs> hey, check out those guys out there. Just think how hard it would be to move all that lumber by yourself. And even the guys putting up the marquee, without one holding up the other, they couldn't get the job done. Uh, Pam, uh -huh. I'm sorry to interrupt, but there's a problem with the fryer. I was wondering if you could fix it. Okay, I'll be right there. All right. See, I take care of the kitchen, Mo takes care of the customers. We couldn't run this restaurant without working together. And there's no reason why you two can't do the same. You want me to work with her? No thanks. I'd rather walk 100 miles on hot gravel. I would rather sleep in my car for the rest of my life than work with this guy. Okay, keep your voices down, all right? Listen, we love having you guys here. I mean, you're even good for business, but not when you're fighting each other. So you two have to find a way to get along if you want to play here. Pam, I was here first. No, Mo and I were here first. This is our establishment, and we're not going to have you claiming the street for yourself, Jared. Look, there has to be some kind of way for you to work together. Some kind of compromise. Maybe we could take shifts every other day? That won't work. I can't afford to take a day off. Um, what if one of us worked in the evenings and then one later that night? That depends on the parking signs. I really can't afford to get my car towed. Oh, what if we alternate Songs? Like you play a song, I play a song. Sounds complicated, but I guess it's worth a shot. Okay, okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. You have options. Oh, well, we can try it. But if you dip into my tips, we're gonna have a problem. Well, don't blame me if I get more tips than you, if people like my music better than yours. Um, I was doing just fine before you came along, oh, so I think guys, so. Guys, you're getting worked up again. Just try each other's ideas and see if it works. 
Otherwise, I hate to say it, neither one of you can come back. Pam, come on. I... No, no, I will not have a repeat of what happened here today. So figure it out. And we won't have to have that convo. Okay? Okay. I gotta go. Thank you for the food. Yeah, appreciate it. Jared and Mary reluctantly agree to start working together. First, they try alternating days. While Jared plays in front of the restaurant, Mary finds another spot. And when Mary plays at the restaurant, Jared goes elsewhere. But they both quickly learn that they don't make as much money playing anywhere else and they keep running into problems. Their next option is to alternate mornings and afternoons. That seems to be going all right until they realize on the days Mary has to work afternoons, her car gets ticketed. And when Jared has to work afternoons, his little brother is sleeping by the time he gets home. With nothing else working, they try sharing the corner with each performing one song at a time. This sucks. I thought you said you weren't gonna get jealous if I got more tips than you. I didn't realize you'd hog the spotlight. Your songs are way too long, and they're terrible. I bet you could never play the songs I play. Um, I wouldn't want to. Your songs are trash. Hey, it's my turn to play. <laughs> really? Really? What are you trying to do, ruin my song? We're supposed to be alternating, you totally cut me off. That's because your songs take way too long to finish. I bet we wouldn't even get tips if it weren't for me. You two need to stop arguing. People seem to tip more when you guys are playing together. What? Yeah, look. Whoa, uh, I've never made this much here. Yeah, me neither. Huh. Do you, do you think it's because we? No, could, could it be? I mean, it, it sounded pretty cool. Do you think that maybe we should try playing a song together? I'm down if you're down. All right, okay, why don't you start and I'll follow you. Okay, uh...
absolutely amazing, you two. It really was. <laughs> you guys sound even better together. Thanks. I, I think you're right. You know, you sounded so good that I'm gonna give you twenty dollars. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, but you know, I don't seem to have any change. Uh, is there any way you two could split it? Yeah, I was gonna tip you both too, but all I have is a five. Maybe we could combine our tips and and split them after. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Pat. Oh. <laughs> All right, I, th I, I think I'd better head out. Let me split these up. So soon? Uh, yeah, there's rain coming. I, I don't want to get caught in it. Okay. Well, I'll see you here same time tomorrow? Yeah. You can count on it. Hey, Jared? Yeah? Would you actually maybe like a ride home? No, no, I, I don't want to be in any trouble. Honestly. No, 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 it's seriously no trouble at all. It beats having to walk five miles. We had fun today. No, oh, we did. Sure. Okay, cool, I'm just gonna grab my stuff. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right, well, I can pick you up tomorrow if you'd like. That sounds amazing. Have a great night, Mary. Do you want to come in? You can stay with us for a while. We don't have an extra bed, but uh, we have a couch. It's the least I could do. That would be really great, actually. You know what? I think Pam and Mo were right. Being a team does make a lot of sense. Together, everyone achieves more. We did it, man. We did it, bro. Woo! <laughs> so it's great. Oh, I'm so, I'm so proud. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ames. I'm gonna miss you so much next year, though. Oh, me too. But hey, San Diego is just a few hours away. Okay, we still gonna see each other all the time. You promise? Of course, you're my girl. All right, I'll come up here and you'll visit me down there. We got fall break, winter break, summer break. <laughs> Baby, you're gonna be sick of me. That's possible. <laughs> I'll be okay. Hey, you love birds. Let's take a picture. Yeah. Let's go. We did it! We finally oh, did I it! Know. <laughs> four years down, four more to go. I am so stoked we're going to UCSD together. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> hey, you guys want a group photo? Maybe? Yeah. 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 Hey, guys. Yeah? Give me the photo. Come on, gang, get together. One big family, huh? Here we are. One, two, three. Oh! Hey. That's beautiful. <laughs> we should get a picture of just the seniors. Do you mind? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> okay, hey, college on three. Are you ready? Yeah. Right. One, two, three. College! <laughs> Your parents are gonna love this. Look at this. Oh, that's good. You saw that? Yeah. I really admire how you're handling things. Handling what things? Oh, just with David going to college. If he was my boyfriend, I'd be super paranoid that he would... Um... Oh, never mind. No, tell me. Would what? That he would cheat on me. With some random college chick. David... Cheat? <laughs> no. No, we'd never do anything like that. We're gonna be together forever. <laughs> forever. I'm not worried about him at all. Well, that's great. I would hate to see what happened to Jamie happen to you. Well, what happened to Jamie? You didn't hear? When he went to college, she was still in her senior year. It didn't even take a week for him to be with another girl. What? So that's why they broke up? Yeah. He sent a selfie to her in bed. Little did he know it was a live photo. Jamie saw another girl jump in right after. Oh my gosh. Jamie really trusted him. And she still got her heart broken. Oh, so sad. That is funny. That is funny.
I guess I'm just trying to say, be careful. No one thinks they're going to be cheated on. Man, that's so good. Woo. We did it. We did it. How you guys feel? Hey, Dave. Yeah, baby. Can I talk to you for a sec? Yeah, sure. What's up? What's up? Would you ever, I don't know, cheat on me? Come on, you, no, you, you know I'd never do that. Are you sure? Okay, listen. If we don't have trust, then I mean, we, we don't really have anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I asked about him. That's okay. Hey. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Now you ready to go back to this party? <laughs> yes. All right, come on. I don't know how I'm gonna go through high school without you by my side. Hey, I'll be there whenever you need me. I know you will. Oh. Before I forget, uh, here is your key. <laughs> Keep it. That one's yours. I got my own. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. oh. How cool is it that we live just a few doors down from each other? I know. It's going to be great. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi. <laughs> Are you going to the rec hall? There's going to be a little mixer. Uh, oh. Uh, that sounds cool. Yeah, you want to go? It's only for incoming college students, not high schoolers. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Okay. You know, I'm, I don't even need to go then. Are you sure? No pressure, but everybody in the building is going. Oh, they are? You know what? Tara's right. I mean, you should go. I don't want to hold you back. You know, I don't want to leave you here all by yourself, though. It's fine. I promise. I was already gonna leave after finishing unpacking. You're the best. Ew, you can do that later. We're gonna be late. Oh. Bye. Hi, beautiful. What are you up to? Not much. Just thinking about you. <laughs> doing some homework. I can't believe half of the school year is already over. I know. It's crazy. But hey, hopefully you get into UCSD and we can be together in the fall. <laughs> That's the goal. All oh, my prom dress just came in from the tailor. Check it out. What do you think? <laughs> wow. I think you're going to look beautiful in it. Oh, you're sweet. Oh, I also got you a tie and pocket square to match me. <laughs> so what time are you coming tomorrow? Um, dude, there's a huge house party in La Jolla tonight. Let's go. I'm going to pass. I'm, I'm talking to Amy. Come on, dude. This is supposed to be the party of the year. I know. I, I just, I don't want to leave her hanging, you know? Hey, hey, it's okay. You can go if you want to. No, but I, I promised you we'd FaceTime date tonight. It's not a big deal. I mean, we'll be seeing each other all weekend. Go, have fun. Okay, thanks, babe. How'd I get so lucky? Are you coming to the party? Uh, yeah, just give me a sec. Who's that? Oh, it's, it's Tara, she's also going to Is that Amy? Let me talk to her. Hey, I'm really sorry, but David's gotta go. He'll call you back later, okay? Oh, um, have fun with your homework. What? Okay. Why would you do that? I was talking to her. Call your little high school girlfriend later. Come on. Let's go have some fun. No, no. I need to call her back now. <laughs> you are so lame. Hey.
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Message oh, system. Voicemail. You shouldn't have hung up like that. It's fine. She'll get over it. Let's go, man. Okay, hold on. Just let, let me send her a text. And my phone's about to die. Someone will have a charger at the party. Come on. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Ugh. Are you gonna be on your phone the whole night? She hasn't texted me back yet. I shouldn't have come here. I'm gonna find the bathroom. I'll be back. Stop! You're at a party. Can you just have some fun? You don't understand. She always texts me back, like right away. This isn't like her. It's fine. She probably went to sleep. I mean, it is past her bedtime. <laughs> I know something's up. I'm gonna call her. What? What? Uh, my phone just died. Good, then you can finally put that thing away. Would you mind if I just use yours? Thank you. On one condition. What? Dance with me first. No, I don't want to. Oh, come on, don't be such a party pooper. Can you at least pretend you're having fun for five seconds while I story? Then you can go back to being miserable. All right, fine. Woo, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! King Pong undefeated champ. <laughs> Woo, let's go! Yeah, everybody loves the winner. Oh everybody my god, loves losers! <laughs> Woo! Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Woo! <laughs> All right, I, I did what you asked. Can I please see your phone? Uh, Come on, Tara. Amy must be worried. Look, let me see your phone or I'm gonna just head back to the dorms. Fine. Sheesh, here. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I got you guys some drinks. Thanks. No thanks, homie. I'm about to go talk to Ames. Wait. Let's have a drink first. Then you can call her. Look, I'm not doing this with you, Tara. Can I please see your phone? After this. Oh. Bro, can I please see your phone? Yeah, sure. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna just step outside and I'll be right back. Wait, at least cheers me before you go and take a picture of us for the memories. I already told you, I'm not drinking. You don't have to drink, just hold it. Three. Smile. Two. One. <laughs> Why would you do that? Relax, it's just a peck on the cheek. Hello? Hey, hey, it's me. Okay, I am so happy you're still up. Look, I am so sorry about- How could you do this to me? Do what to you? Are you kidding? I just saw the photo of Tara kissing you. A photo? How did... Okay, Ames, <laughs> you need to trust me. It is not what it- Trust you? You mean to trust you after what I just saw? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen to me. It is not what it looks like. Tara and I are just friends, I swear. Oh yeah? Because based on what I'm looking at, it looks pretty clear to me that you two are more than that. Baby, please. Don't call me that, I'm not your baby. Come 
can't believe I ever trusted you. I promise, I can explain. Just look, just give me a- No, no I'm done. <gasps> just forget about prom, forget about us. I never wanna see you again. Wait, no, 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 please, I- <sighs> Wait, no. I just want to be alone right now. Can you please leave me alone? Oh, honey. You can't just stay in bed all day. I think you should still go to prom. I told you I'm not going. I'm not in the mood. <sighs> okay. Well, this might cheer you up. It's from UC San Diego. I don't care. I mean, even if I got in, I'm not going. I don't wanna be anywhere near David or Tara. Well, have you tried talking to him? There's nothing to talk about. I saw what I saw. Sometimes, there's more to photos than what we see. I'll go get that. What are you doing here? I told you I never wanted to see you again. James, please, just, just hear me out. Just leave. Just give me two minutes to explain. And if, if you still hate me after that, I promise I'll leave you alone forever. Honey, I think you should hear him out. Fine. Two minutes, that's it. Thank you. First off, I want you to know I would never cheat on you. I love you. Right, more like you love Tara. No, no, not at all. I, look, I thought she was my friend, but now I realize she's just been trying to break us up. And I'm sorry, I didn't see that before. But I, I swear to you, Nothing happened. Right. Then how do you explain this? I, I didn't, I never kissed her. She kissed me. Look at the big smile on your face. Certain didn't seem like you had a problem with it. Who knows what happened between you guys after? What happened is I was pissed. I just, I wish you were there. You could have seen it for yourself. Right. So is this before or after you two were dancing so happily on her story? It wasn't like that at all. And look, look, luckily I have proof. I, I found this on someone's story. You can, you can clearly see, I just danced for that story. I promise you, I, I wasn't even dancing or having fun for, what, more than two seconds. Then why would she kiss you? I don't know. I can't explain that. I just, I need you to trust me. Nothing happened. I can't do that anymore. What? Actually, your two minutes are up. You need to leave. No, please, you have to believe me. I don't. If you don't mind. Thanks. Go. Now. <sighs> 
you know, if I had done something wrong, I could understand and would have no problem walking away. But what makes this even more painful is, is that I know deep in my heart I didn't do anything. I just wish there was a way to prove that to you. You know what the most ironic part about this is? Tara tried to warn me this would happen. She said Jamie's boyfriend did the same thing. Did what? Cheated on her. I, I didn't cheat. Right. You don't think Jamie's boyfriend said the same thing? Probably would have gotten away with it too if he hadn't sent her a live photo with another girl in it. Live photo? Wait. L let me see your phone. For what? Just trust me. Okay, or don't trust me. Just... C can I see that? Okay, look! Look! I didn't even know she was gonna do that. And I was pissed after that. Oh my gosh. I told you. So nothing happened between you guys? No. No, not at all. Look, I haven't even talked to Tara ever since. And I promise you, I never plan on talking to her again. I'm just still in shock. And I'm so sorry for not believing you. It's okay. I mean, honestly, I guess anyone would have thought the same thing if they were in your shoes. But you were right. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. I see that now. And, and I'm so sorry. Like, I feel awful. I was so mean to you. And it wasn't really fair to you because I, I didn't know. Hey, Paranoid. hey, hey, hey. hey. It's okay. Listen. We can talk about this later. But for right now, I need you to hurry up and get ready. We got prom to get to. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, a letter from UCSD came in, but I haven't read it yet. Wait, what? Well, what are you waiting for? Open it! Okay, okay. <laughs> we are pleased to inform you that your application to UC San Diego has been accepted! <laughs> oh my gosh, I did it! I got in! I oh, I knew you would. Oh, oh I am so proud of you. Thanks. I'm really going to be inseparable. I hope you don't get sick of me. Come on, not a chance. <laughs> So, how do I look? Wow. You look stunning. Thanks. Let's take a picture. Okay. You're gonna have to take it. Yeah, I got you. Some juice, you know. <laughs> um, and then I think it says a fool. Mm. Oh, there. there it is, there it is. Done. <laughs> Happy early Valentine's. <laughs> you know, I, I'd give you one, but mm -hmm. um, you already have my heart. Oh, I already have your heart. Mm -hmm. That's real smooth, Sam. That's real smooth. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go. When are you gonna tell me about this big surprise you have planned for tomorrow? It's called a surprise for a reason. Like, please, don't do anything crazy. Honestly, the little things for me matter more than the big things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
That's what all girls say. But what they secretly want mm. is there a guy to go all out so they can brag to everyone on Instagram. You know, after three weeks of dating, mm -hmm. you still clearly don't know me at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, you don't. You don't know anything. <laughs> oh, before I go, you don't happen to have any more of these, do you? It's my favorite candy. No, that was the last one. No worries. I'll see you later. Yes, uh, let me walk you out. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, Tara. What, are you leaving so soon? Yeah, I gotta get my nails done since I have no idea what this man has planned for me tomorrow. <laughs> But you know, it's not too late to cancel on Sam here and be my date for Valentine's. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jeff. Bye. Okay. See, I still don't understand how she's with you, man. I mean, she is way out of your league. Now she needs to be with a guy like me. Well, you know, you were right next to us at the bar when she approached us, so if she did like you better, then she could have just don't touch those. They're for Valentine's Day. Just okay, dude. She's not gonna notice that there's just one missing. Yes, she will. Everything okay. needs to be perfect, okay? It, it's all part of my plan. Oh, your plan? Mm -hmm. So this is the big plan you've been raving about. Gadiva strawberries. You know Tyra's got money, right? She's not gonna be impressed with something so basic. Okay, well, it's not just the strawberries, okay? I'm going all out. Oh. <laughs> just you ready? <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. There. Take a look. I got this bracelet on hold for her. Okay, that's not bad. Uh huh. And I saw on Instagram that her favorite flowers are lilies, so I got some reserved for her. Okay, I tried to get some flowers for my hot date, but everywhere is sold out. Mm -hmm. It is madness. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? The florist of Seventh. And on okay. top of that, I got us a reservation at Giuliani's. <laughs> Which is where I'm gonna give everything to her. Oh, that place is really expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you affording all this? I thought you were broke. I am. Which is why I finally decided <laughs> to get a credit card. Okay. Now putting yourself in debt over someone who's not your girlfriend. Is that smart? Okay, well, she's not my girlfriend yet. I'm planning on asking her tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, you are? Yep. And when she sees all these nice things I've got lined up for her, there's no way she's gonna be able to say no. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's really good. Did you know our power's out? Oh, no, no, I woke up early to hit the weight, so I didn't notice. That's weird. Wait, chat, did you pay our power bill like you were supposed to? Yes. What do I look like, I'm irresponsible? <laughs> When's the last time you watered your dead plant? Okay, for your information, I was just about to water that, okay? <sighs> Regardless, I did pay the power bill. It's probably just out in the entire building or something. I don't know what you're so worried about. Because I was supposed to pick up Tyra's bracelet at night. The store said they couldn't hold it past that. Okay. Well, you're not even an hour late, so I'm sure it's still there. I hope so. You know, I've been hyping this thing for so long. I don't want anything to go wrong. Oh. Okay, what is that smell? 
No, 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 just catch up. The strawberries got ruined. Oh, dang, that sucks. Okay, what am I gonna do now? Well, hey, look at me. You still got your bracelet, the flowers, and the dinner reservations, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah? Okay, then you're good. Okay. Right? Yeah, I would get moving though, because time is ticking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, you got it. All right, thank you. How can I help you, sir? Hey, I'm here to pick up a bracelet I have on hold. Sure, can I have your name? Sam, Sam Guzman. Sam Guzman? <laughs> ah, yes, the vintage sapphire bracelet. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, someone just bought it about a few minutes ago. What? Uh, no, I, I put it on hold yesterday, so. We can't hold anything longer than 24 hours. I'm sorry, it's just our store policy. <laughs> now, I'm happy to show you some other bracelets that we have. Yeah, okay. okay. So I don't have much of a choice, right? Okay, so we're a little low on stock because of Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. but here are our options. Excellent choice. $2,000? Okay, I don't have this kind of money. Is there anything else I can get for a more modest budget? Well, unfortunately, all the pieces that fall within the lower price range have been sold. Yeah. You don't have anything in the back? Yeah, what you see is what we have. You don't believe this. Martha's husband got her a Birkin for Valentine's Day. Okay, so? What do you mean, so? All these girls on Instagram are getting these nice presents. You have me over here working all day. You better be planning something nice for later. Instagram ruins everything. Ruined my life. Now you just have to buy nice things just to keep your girl happy. Yep, you're right about that. All right, okay, I guess I'll take it. You accept credit cards, right? Of course. Let me box this thing up for you, okay? Okay, sounds good. What? I just kind of... Julianis, how can I help you? Hey, I have a reservation tonight under Sam Guzman, but I just got an email saying it was canceled. One moment, please. Yes, I can see here it was canceled. Okay, there must be some sort of mistake, because I never canceled, so can you please just rebook it? Unfortunately, we're fully committed for this evening, but if you like to come in next week, I can... No, 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 it has to be tonight, because it's Valentine's Day. I'm sorry, but the best thing I can do is put you on the wait list. There's just... 29 people, look, this isn't even my fault, okay? I never canceled. I understand your frustration, sir, but there's nothing I can do. Is there anything else I can help you with? It's just a thank you for nothing, okay? Look who it is. There he is, can I get your credit card? Yeah, yeah. What? Is there something wrong? It's, I, it's not in my wallet. I must have left it at home by accident. Well, I mean, you know, do you want to use your debit card? No, I've got nothing until I get paid next week, which is why I wanted to use a credit card, okay? Just, okay, um, is there anything I can get for $35? Sure, let me, do you, uh, think that I sell plastic here? Okay, I'm gonna go home, get the card, and come back, okay? If you don't mind. Look how many flowers Jamie's boyfriend got her. Boyfriend, not even husband. When's the last time he got me flowers? And she said he's taking her to Nobu for dinner. Not right now. I am in the middle of finalizing a transaction. I should have listened to my mother. She told me to marry a rich guy. Then I'd be getting gifts too. Yeah. Mm, I am going to delete that up from her phone. Okay, so you're gonna be back with your credit card. Yeah, but I just remember I need to pick up some flowers first. So then, you know, I'll pick them up, then come right back up. If you don't mind holding it for just a couple hours. Sure. Look at you. Bracelets, flowers. Ah. Seems like your girlfriend is on the uh, Instagram. She's my friend. I'm hoping to make her my girlfriend tonight, which is why I'm going all out. 
Nice. Well, hopefully my wife doesn't start following your soon-to-be girlfriend on the Instagram. Huh? <laughs> then I'd be in real trouble. <laughs> hey, buddy, come here for a second. I don't have anything planned for my wife. Nothing. And she's going to be livid when she finds out. Okay, well, good luck with that, okay? I'll be back soon. I will see you soon okay. with your credit card, sir. Hey, uh, I'm here to pick up some flowers. Name? Sam Guzman, I prepaid over the phone last week. Oh, just one second. Oh, here you are. <laughs> At least something's going right today. That's weird. It says that they were already picked up this morning. What? No, that, that's impossible. This is my first time coming here. Uh, just one second. Uh, do you know who picked up the lilies for Sam? Sorry, everyone's names and faces are all just sort of a blur today. Mm. There's been so many people in and out. Okay, and you guys don't check IDs? It's a flower shop. I mean, customers just give their name. I can offer you another bouquet. Okay, do you have any lilies? We only have two bouquets left. Everything else is already reserved. I'm guessing you wouldn't want these. These are a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? It's Valentine's Day. Everything is more expensive. And with your credit, it'll be $47. Okay. I haven't been able to find my credit card, okay? Just, is there any way I could get it for 35, please? I am so sorry. They'll go for full price any minute. I'm surprised we still even have anything. Excuse me. Hi, you guys have any flowers left? Uh, These are the last two. These are $100 because of the demand. No problem. I'll take those. See what I mean? Oh, thanks. I can offer you these. I mean, even though they're more expensive now, we can do an even exchange for the inconvenience. <laughs> you know, this is turning out to be the worst Valentine's Day in history. Uh, I'm sure she won't mind not getting flowers. No, it's not just the flowers. It's, you know, I had Godiva strawberries. They got ruined. I, I couldn't find my credit card, so I wasn't able to buy this new bracelet I wanted to get for her. And then my dinner reservation got canceled, and on top of all of that, I can't get any flowers, so. I'm so sorry. You know, I've been hyping this for so long. It's just now with... That's great. She just texted me how excited she is for today's big surprise. <laughs> yeah, there's no way she's gonna say yes to being my girlfriend. You know, especially if I show up empty-handed and then she says I've got no plans. You were planning all of that and she's not even your girlfriend? Yeah. I mean, come, you, you know how girls are nowadays, right? I mean, all they care about is showing off their nice gifts on Instagram so they can brag to everyone about how good their guy is. Not all girls. What do you mean? Some girls like the simple things. That's true. Yeah, you wouldn't be spending $100 on just some flowers if that was the case, so. These are for my mom. I'm not getting my girl flowers. Oh, you're not? No. She hates it when I spend money on things we're gonna throw away a few days later. She cares more about sentimental things. Amen to that. Finally, a man who understands that. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do own a flower shop, and it's always nice to see how guys try to impress their girls. But what I think they don't understand is that it's actually the little things that matter most, not the big things. That's exactly what my girl said. Well, maybe you should listen to her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what do, what do I do? Think about something thoughtful. That'll matter a lot more to her, trust me. Something thoughtful. Would you like some newspaper to wrap this in so they don't leak? Sure, thanks. Thanks. You know, I actually just had an idea. Uh, yeah? Uh-huh. Do you mind if I get some of those too? Uh, sure. Thank you. And thank you for the advice. Really. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Can I take my blindfold off yet? Not yet. And don't try to pee. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Now? Yes, I can't hit. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Happy Valentine's Day. You made me flowers out of newspaper? And... Yeah, okay, look, I know. I know it's not what you were expecting. You can say that again. I had a bunch of nice things planned for you, okay? I really did, but everything that could go wrong went wrong. I had Godiva strawberries in the fridge, but the power went out and they got ruined, so I made you these. And I did have some lilies reserved for you, but somebody else took them, so I made you a newspaper bouquet. And there was this really beautiful bracelet I, I wanted to get for you, right? But I couldn't find my credit card, so... I made you a... Smarties candy bracelet? Yeah. Okay. I know it's not much, okay? But it really is the best I can do for you right now. Look, if you give me one chance, I promise you I'll make this up, okay? Um, I'm really sorry if you hate it. Hate it? Are you kidding me? I love it. What? I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's, it's so... All of this is just so thoughtful and, and personal. But it's I, not Birkin or I have some fancy dinner in a restaurant. It's a thousand times better. Really? Yes. I was worried that you were gonna try to impress me with all these things that I didn't want. The important part is that you spent time trying to make today special for me. What could be more romantic than that? I can't tell you how relieved I am. <laughs> and I should also mention that, well, the rose petals are fake. <laughs> And I actually made you dinner tonight, so we're not gonna go out to a restaurant. Hopefully that doesn't change your mind. Not at all. Okay. I couldn't have asked for a better Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yeah. Um, well, I think right now it's a really good time to ask you something I've been meaning to ask you since the first time I saw you. Tyra? Would you be my... Oh, you're here. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I meant to give you a heads up, but well, there was this life change of plans. <laughs> oh, I can see that. <laughs> can you believe Sam did all this for me? It's, uh, he's just so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> You call flowers made out of newspaper romantic? Yeah. I love origami and Sam remembered. I think it's really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a date tonight? Uh, yeah, I do. Mm. I was actually just about to get ready to take my date to Nobu. Mm. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I actually got my girl real flowers, though, instead of... Oh, lilies, those are my favorite. Mm. Yeah, well, mm. if you were my date, you'd be getting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said you couldn't find any flowers. I couldn't, mm. but then I found this really expensive new flower shop. Yeah, I had to pay top dollar, but I like to spoil my girl. Mm. Unlike Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your date? No, I, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, can I help you, officers? Are you aware of a power outage in the building today? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was just our unit, though. I didn't realize it was the whole building. Really? Interesting. So you're saying you had nothing to do with that? Okay. Me, that, that, that is absurd. Why would I have anything to do with the power going out? The manager called us after she reviewed the video surveillance. What is this? W 
Wait, you're the reason the power went out? Why? Um. <laughs> the, Chad, are those the flowers from the Seventh Street? That those are my those are my flowers. No. <laughs> this, these are my flowers. Okay, look, I I can explain. All right, it's, it's very uh, simple. You are aware that tampering with the building's power is a federal offense. What if someone was using a breathing device in the building? That could have been very dangerous. We're taking you in. Okay, no, no, no. Unless you have a logical reason for tampering with that power, we have no choice. Uh, uh -huh. Arrest him. Okay, wait, 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 all right, I will tell you, all right, I will tell you. All right, I, I turned the power off in the building because I wanted to ruin the strawberries that Sam got for Tyra. Okay, I knew he wouldn't think it was me if the power went off in the whole building. The truth is, I tried to ruin your Valentine's because I don't think you deserve to be with Tyra. I deserve to be with her. And Tyra, if you give me a chance, I promise I will treat you like a queen. I thought you had a girl. I just said that. You're the girl I want. Wow, uh, I was never interested in you, Chad. I've always been interested in Sam. What, wait, no, but he's broke. He had to get a credit card just to be able to buy you gifts. How much money he has doesn't matter to me. But I can't believe you went through all that just to make me happy. I, I told you I don't want any gifts. I know. I should have listened. And I'm guessing you're also the reason my credit card's missing? I'm sorry. Oh, and I may or may not have canceled your dinner reservations. Unbelievable. So you see, that's why I turned off the power in the building. It was so stupid. I never should have done it. I'm sorry. What do you think? Arrest him. What? No, no, you can't do this to me. I. Okay, oh. Okay. <laughs> we can add the uh, credit card theft to the charges if you like. No, that's. Um, that's okay. Okay, uh, okay I want to talk to my lawyer. He is a very good friend of my dad. He's my very hard. Wow. I still can't believe Yes. What do you mean? You were gonna ask him to be your girlfriend earlier, right? Well, then my answer is yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> well, this just turned out to be the best Valentine's Day ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, let me, let me just fix this real quick and then I'll make dinner. Oh, hold on. Uh, I wanna take a picture first. From her Instagram. Really? They're not embarrassed? I mean, they are paper flowers. Not at all. Because... Little things matter more than big things. Got it. There you go. <laughs> By the way, if you're looking for a new roommate... I only want to move in with me. <laughs> no. I have a really big house in the hills. I know it's a little early, but he seemed like a really great guy. I wouldn't mind if he moved in with me. Yeah, that, that, that sounds good. Good. You can pay me in Smarties. Oh, look at her. She got some uh, handcrafted flowers, some strawberries. She seems happy. Well, that's not me. What do you think I am, basic? Where's Valentine's Day ever? Give me my phone! Miss Day, welcome! 
It is such an honor to have you here. Thank you, I'm so excited. Corey's excited too, we all are. We work with a lot of influencers, but I've gotta say, you are the one I've been dying to meet the most. I'll go get Corey, let him know you're here, so go ahead, grab a seat, read a magazine, I'll be right back. My man really got a magazine with his face on it in the lobby. <laughs> That's not conceited at all. Babe, uh, could you not make those type of comments when Corey shows up? <laughs> I'm only kidding. Babe, hey, relax. I'm trying to, okay, but Corey Lee is like a really big deal. Right, he has like 12 million subscribers on YouTube and I really want him to like me. How's my makeup look, by the way? You're beautiful. Hey, why are you so worried about him? It's like you got a little thing for him oh, or something. Allison Day is here! Hey. <laughs> I've been wanting to collab with you forever now. I know. I can't believe I'm finally going to be in a Corey Lee video. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to have the Allison Day in one of my videos. You've been killing it lately. Oh, is this your assistant? A uh, boyfriend, actually. Oh, uh, sorry, man. Corey. Eric. Nice. I, I don't know how I didn't recognize you. Are you on YouTube or TikTok? No, I'm. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm like a. I'm a manager for a food delivery company, kind of like HelloFresh. Oh. Uh, he's just being modest. He actually just got promoted to being a senior manager. <laughs> oh. Interesting. I've never used a service like that before, but I have a private chef that cooks all my meals, so I really wouldn't know. Well, by the way, do you have one yet? A private chef? Yeah, if not, I can totally give you the info for my lady. She's amazing. Oh, uh, well. I'm, I'm, I'm usually actually cooking all our meals, so I, I think we're good, but <laughs> thank you. If you say so. <laughs> well, you have to at least come over for dinner sometime and try my chef's cooking. It's better than most Michelin star restaurants. Well, uh, sounds good. Maybe we'll take you up on that. Cool. Okay, well, the crew and I have a little surprise for you. Uh, Corey, you didn't have to. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, I did. Well, here, why don't you guys come this way? I know that face. Come on. Assistant? I'm all over your socials. How does he not know? Stop. Okay? He probably just hasn't looked at my page in a while. Okay. How about I make a big announcement to everyone that you're my boyfriend when we get in there? No, it's not funny. I'm serious. You've been acting a little strange since we got here. Why you like this guy so much? I don't. I'm just excited to collab with him is all. Are you worried about something? Come on. You have nothing to worry about. Please trust me. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Right? Yeah. You're right. All right. Guess I'm gonna just be used to being a not famous boyfriend. We're ready for ya! This one. Close. Close. Yeah. Okay. Just a little. Yes. Right there. Right there. Okay. You can open your eyes in three, two, one. Open. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Oh my gosh. It's just a small token of our appreciation for having you on set with us the next couple of days. <laughs> this is way too much, Corey. Oh. It's amazing, thank you. <laughs> but uh, I can't possibly eat all this by myself, so you all better have some. <laughs> of course, yes, but you first, please. Uh, actually, before we, you know, dig in, is it okay if we take a group photo? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Cool, okay, uh, let's get the crew in the back. Allison, front and center, just like a star. <laughs> I'm gonna go here. Uh... Do you want me to take it for you guys? Oh, no, no, I want you to be in the photo. Uh, uh, oh, 
Hey, can you take a pic for us? Yeah. Cool. That's fine. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I'm sure someone else could take the photo so that Eric could be in it, too. Oh, uh... I kind of want the whole crew to be in the photo. If you don't mind, do you? No, that's cool. Cool. All right, see? <laughs> All right, guys, gather in real tight. And uh, let's say Allison Day on three. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. Allison Day! <laughs> All right. Great. Awesome, everyone grab a plate. We're shooting in 10. Okay? Thank you so much. Yo, say less. The pleasure's all mine. <laughs> and cuts. We'll take five. Can we get makeup for Allison, please? So good. So good. Yeah. Hey, Adam. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what's up? Something just feels off about that last line. Really? How so? Mm, I don't know. I just feel like the hand on the shoulder is kind of kiddish. You know, I, I feel like the characters would kiss. Uh, but I thought after that meeting with HR, we decided not to do kissing okay. on videos. I know. But the audience would go crazy seeing Corey Lee and Allison Day kissing. Imagine. Hmm? Okay, let's just do it one last time. Please. Uh, Please. Uh, hey, sorry. Were you talking about kissing Allison? Oh, okay. Trust me. That is the last thing I want to do. Okay, but I'm just thinking about the fans and what they want to see, plus how to get the most views. You do want the video to do well, right? Yeah, no, no, I, of course, of course. I. The idea of that just kind of makes me feel a little... What, you're not insecure, are you? Me? No, I'm not insecure. No, <laughs> I, no, 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 no. I'm not worried about me. I'm, I'm just worried for her, and I, you know, I want her to be comfortable, and I, I doubt she's gonna want to do that. Hmm. Okay, well, why don't I go chat with her about it? We catered lunch for everyone in case you want that instead. Oh, no, this is for Allison. Oh, that's really nice that you brought that for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, she, you know, I, I know her diet pretty well, so I, I guess she trusts me with the cooking. Cool. She's cool with the changes to the scene. Wait, sh she is? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me just go talk to her. Oh, first. actually... We were just about to start filming, so, hot set. Okay. Are you all right? You're not bothered? No, I'm fine. Before I forget, can you just hand her her lunch? Oh, <laughs> actually, we were just about to start shooting through lunch. Since, you know, we're behind because of the surprise and everything. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, it's because we just decided it right now. Well, hold on, hold on. So. Is she not going to be eating? No. No, it was her idea. Not mine. So... Yeah, we really gotta start shooting. Can she just text you later? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's, that's fine. Awesome. Hey, you're the best, man. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's pick it up. Let's get going. Hey, uh, did Eric bring me my lunch? Oh. Actually, I made reservations for us at Giovanni's. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's my favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I do my research. <laughs> Great. And um, how long so I can let Eric know to be ready? Oh, um, he said he has to run some errands, so he can't join us today. He's leaving? Yeah. I wonder why he didn't tell me. Oh, it was a last minute thing. Yeah, that's actually what we were just talking about. Why don't you send him a text and tell him you'll see him later? Okay. He seems a little... Eric! 
know, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure he's just stressed from work. You know how it is working a normal job. Thankfully, neither one of us has to do that anymore. I hope he's all right. He'll be fine. Hey, I wanted to talk to you about changing the ending of that last scene. I already talked to Eric about them, and he's totally cool with it. Okay. Okay, cool. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, well, I think we're gonna need a bigger table. Oh. Actually, uh, none of the other cast or crew are coming. It's just the two of us? I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. The rest of the cast and crew had to stay behind to do a pickup shot. So they can't join us, unfortunately. I see. Allison, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Yeah, um, is Eric joining us today? Uh, no, but I might message him and see if he wants to come. Maybe yeah. he finished work early. <laughs> Before you do that, I did want to talk to you about something. Do you mind giving us a moment? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> What's up? I just wanted to know how your whole experience was. You know, collabing with me. Okay, I guess. You guess. Look, Corey, I gotta be honest with you. This whole experience just kinda made me feel a little uncomfortable. You know, first you asked me if I would kiss you on camera. Regardless if Eric says it's cool or not, it's still really awkward to ask someone last minute like that. And then I find out it's just the two of us coming here and- Wait, wait, wait a second. <laughs> Are you implying that I did all of this because I have some sort of thing for you or something? <laughs> Allison, that's not the case at all. <sighs> wow. I'm honestly kind of offended. No, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. It's just... Oh, paparazzi's here. What? Mm-hmm. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure they just want a few pictures, is all. No, you don't understand. Okay, I hate the paparazzi. They're always making up stories about me. Oh, I'm sure if we just take some photos, they'll leave us alone. No, I don't want to. Look, I'm just gonna go wait in the bathroom until they leave. <sighs> Honestly, come on, it's, it's a camera. It's not a big deal. Just... Hey, are you, are you all right? Yeah, just help me get rid of them. I will. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. So would you call your girlfriend? Oh, well, that's a little bit of a stretch, but it's definitely getting there. Oh, I'm sorry, but you guys can't be here. Why not? He invited us. Doesn't matter. This is a private establishment. You need to leave now. All right, then. I'll see you later, Corey. Thank you. Anytime. Hey, Allison. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, uh, I gotta take a call real fast. I'll, I'll meet you at set, okay? It's right through those doors. All right. Great. Oh. Hey. Where's Allison? Oh, she's inside getting ready for our next scene together. Oh, okay. I was gonna go see if she wants any food or anything. Oh, yeah, no, sounds good. Oh, uh, before I forget, by the way, congratulations on landing such a great girl. Allison really is the best. Thanks. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I've seen this happen a million times, okay? Allison is just gonna get more and more famous. Pretty soon, she's going to be dating a celebrity. That's just how it goes. I work with a lot of influencers, so I know. Well, you don't know Alice in the way I do. Okay. Mm. 
Everything all right? You two went to lunch together? Yeah. We wrapped early and she wanted to go to Giovanni's. Why is there an article saying that you two are dating? Really? That's interesting. I don't know. I saw her talking to the paparazzi, but I was coming out of the bathroom. It's like I said, man. As she gets more famous, she's gonna wanna date someone more of her caliber. Not someone who works for a food delivery company. Hey, uh... Hey! I've been looking for you. Where are you going? After everything we've been through, I really can't believe you, Allison. <laughs> Wait, what? What are you talking about? First off, you agree to do this kissing scene with Corey. Then you guys go to lunch together, you don't tell me. And now I have to read in the news that you two are dating? Huh? What, what are you talking about? No, 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 just save it. I've seen enough. Don't walk away from me, we need to talk about this. You know what's funny? You really try to convince me to trust you. And then you go and do this. Something was off the moment that we walked in here. Apparently, I should have just trusted my gut. Eric, open the door. Eric! Hey, I, I saw everything. You all right? Yeah, just... Give me a minute. Well, if you ever need to talk, I'm always right here. Hey, Eric. Is Allison joining today? Oh, it's just me. I hate to be nosy, but is everything okay? No. I thought I could trust Allison. It's like, now I realize you, you can't trust anyone nowadays. Well, I don't know her as well as you do, but I do know that she's an honest person. That other guy, Corey, he seems like a snake. Why, what, what do you mean? Well, just the other day when they were here. Now, paparazzi showed up, Allison ran to the bathroom, but then I found out that Corey was the one who called them. No, 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 he told me she, she was the one that, that was talking to them. Are you kidding? You know how she is with them. She did her best to get away from it all. Well, okay, maybe, maybe that was a misunderstanding. I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't explain why he, why she kissed him? Allison kissed Corey? Yeah. In that collab they did together. The one video that came out this morning on Corey's channel? Yeah. Did you watch it? I'm too disgusted by it. I mean, it makes my stomach hurt just thinking about it. I watched it, and there's no kissing going on between them. Wait. There isn't? You should watch it. I'll be back to take your order. Yo, say less. The pleasure was all mine. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Psych! Catch us next time on the Corey Lee Show! They never kissed? 
aren't you answering my calls? Allison, how did you know I was here? Um, did you forget you share your location with me? Oh, yeah. Well? I'm sorry. I... I just found out you and Corey never kissed. I thought you... you agreed to that. What? Ew, no, 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 I would never. That's what I thought. And then uh, I just realized, Corey, he was the one that called the paparazzi for that article. He did. Yeah. I should have known. Now it all makes sense. I was just, I was really hurt when I read that article. And I, you know, I knew it wasn't tr true, but I didn't even know you two went to lunch together. You know, without me. He said you had something come up at work and that's why you couldn't come. What? What, what are you talking about? I was literally waiting for you in the parking lot the entire time. He, he told me you guys canceled lunch. Seems like he definitely played the both of us. What a snake. I regret ever collabing with him. I'm so sorry. Allison, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I mean, you're right. If we don't have trust, we don't have anything. Don't ever ignore me like that again. No, I won't. And can we also, like, never speak about that Corey again? He's just, he's just causes so much stress in our lives. <laughs> Fine by me. Actually, I do want to talk about Corey one more time. And then I promise I won't ever mention Corey Lee again. Oh, okay. Um, Corey? <laughs> oh, you should probably watch this. Hey everyone, so I recently did a collab with Corey Lee and I have to tell you the experience was not pleasant. He was being completely inappropriate the entire time. Oh no. He tried to add a kissing scene between us when he knew I didn't want to. He played my okay, boyfriend and I. You gotta get this taken It's already got millions of views. Just... Corey, there's more than just that. Hey guys, I just wanted to back up Allison Day's post. When I worked with Corey Lee, he treated me the same way. It was very unprofessional. I was pretty uncomfortable. He even... Okay, I, I can't watch this anymore. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Trixie made a video too. Trixie? It's oh, even oh no. Than all the no, no. I can't look at that. It's about come out in the past hour or so. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um... okay what, about, what about the comments? What are they saying? There's a big movement to cancel you. Corey? Okay. Corey! Relax! You're Corey Lee, man. You're gonna be good. You'll get right through it. Okay, then why is this the worst day ever, okay? How could this day possibly get any worse? Corey Lee! Yes! We need you to come with us. Um. What for? We're investigating some complaints about you. How about we take a ride downtown? Uh, uh, you know. Don't forget to smile. Sorry, are you Dancing Mandy? My daughter and I are huge fans. Our little dance video got 100,000 views. I don't even like dancing. If you spent that time making TikToks, can I go play now? Then we can actually.